Hey guys, it's November 7th, also known as N7 Day for you Mass Effect fans. I'm Chastity and I've got your news. Let's kick off N7 Day with Mass Effect Andromeda. There's a new trailer and details on the Deluxe Edition. BioWare released a new cinematic trailer for Andromeda today that you can check out in full on GameSpot.com. The narrator, writer's father, sets up the video with this description. We slept for hundreds of years, dreaming of a new home. But when we finally awoke, our dreams of peace were shattered. It was also confirmed today that more Andromeda gameplay will be shown during the Game Awards in December. Additionally, Game Informer reveals that writer's father is voiced by Clancy Brown, who voices Mr. Krabs in SpongeBob and also appeared in Highlander and The Shawshank Redemption. Amazon listings for Andromeda's Deluxe Edition have gone live, revealing the names but not the specifics of its contents. It comes with the Pathfinder Casual Outfit, Scavenger Armor, Pathfinder Elite Weapon Set, Pet Pie Jack, Digital Soundtrack, and a Multiplayer Deluxe Launch Pack. The page references two pre-order bonuses, the Deep Space Explorer Armor and a Multiplayer Booster Pack that provides five 50% experience boosters. An earlier leak for Andromeda's box art says the game is for one player or up to four in multiplayer. BioWare hasn't said much about Mass Effect Andromeda's multiplayer in an official capacity, but it has been mentioned in previous leaks. Keep checking out GameSpot.com for more reveals and announcements on Andromeda from N7 Day. Next up, a fun tribute to a Call of Duty 4 glitch in Modern Warfare Remastered. The 2007 original Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare contained a glitch on one of the maps where, under the right circumstances, you could slip out of the map. Now that Modern Warfare Remastered is out, it's been discovered that developer Raven Software paid tribute to this glitch by putting a caution sign over the area where this could happen. This was discovered recently by Reddit user Dajarian and highlighted by Kotaku. This glitch was a pretty wild one as it caused players to slip into another dimension, basically. The new caution sign is a pretty cool easter egg for fans of the franchise to come across. Modern Warfare Remastered officially launched on November 4th for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. And the only way to get it is to buy one of the premium versions of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, which started at $80. As of yet, Activision has not said if it will ever release the remaster on its own, but also hasn't ruled it out. And finally, a Pokemon Go update with daily catch bonuses and more. Pokemon Go's newest feature has arrived. The new update now adds the daily catch bonus feature that Niantic Labs announced last week. Players will earn bonuses for their first Pokemon catch and visit to a Pokestop every day. If you do this seven days in a row, you'll get even bigger bonuses. The patch also tweaks some gym systems and makes minor text fixes. In addition to launching the new patch, Niantic confirmed it is testing out a new version of the nearby Pokemon feature. This is already live in San Francisco and is now being expanded to parts of Arizona, as well as the Seattle area and the rest of the San Francisco Bay Area. We will continue to review community feedback, make changes if necessary, and roll this feature out to more regions, the developer said. Niantic did not provide any kind of timetable for when the nearby Pokemon feature will be available nationwide or in other parts of the world. Let me know what you think of today's stories in the comments below. And don't forget, this Friday we have Extra Life. It's going down Friday to Sunday for 72 hours in three different continents. It's our charity event where we're raising money for the kids, so please check it out and donate, and I'll see you next time.